I gave credit for more sense. That'd be reasonable, Barney. We were trying to prevent a crime. There have been four warehouse fires in the last four months. I've got something to show you two. This is a copy of your license to do business. This is a list of the reasons I've compiled why you shouldn't. You should list the times we help you. I have. That's why I'm going to let you off. Until you add just one more item to this list. Anything at all. I don't care if it's even double parking. You must be the chief investigator, Mr. Booth. Thank you. You know, on your lips, that title sounds like General of the Army. Now then, darling, tell me, uh, what can I do for you? What's the purpose of your visit here? Well, actually, to see your boss. Oh, Mr. Canby, um. Well, uh, why don't you uh, hold still here, and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can uh, do for you, hmm?
Won't you uh, come in? Hmm? Thank you. Mr. Canby, I'm... My dear Miss West, I am quite aware of who you are. How flattering. What is it that you want? A job. Indeed. Doing what? Catching your firebug. Saving you fat payoffs. Thank you, Miss West, but no. We do have our own investigators, you know. So far, your men have struck out. And how would you catch our little firebug? By uh, dropping a net on him, like last night? Good old Lieutenant Barney. Well, perhaps little girls should stay around the house, don't you think? Wouldn't that be rather dull for little boys? Miss West, the answer is an absolute no. Not even a positive maybe. Good day, Miss West. It was when I came in. Keeping you waiting. I'm sorry. One moment, miss. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. He'll never double park again. Feels better now? Not yet. This kind of therapy takes time. At least we're out of jail. Goody, let's celebrate. Well, good idea, Amy. How do you celebrate in the middle of the afternoon? How about the horse races? Why not? Because we've got work to do. Yeah, like what? Yeah, what? You said yourself, Sam, if we caught that arsonist, we might get the confederated account. Oh, can be cool the whole deal. Only because we didn't cool the arsonist. Let's go back to the warehouse. For what? Maybe we'll find a hot lead, if you'll excuse the expression. The only thing we'll find in that warehouse is trouble. That's what we're headed for, big trouble. Sam. Oh. Well, someone's burning the midnight oil. Very funny. What are you doing? Just listen in, partner, while I win friends and influence flowers. Indeed. Come in, Miss West. Thank you. I'm grateful for what you tried to do last night. The police informed me of your involvement. Oh, will you sit down? Thank you. Well, what can I do for you? Mr. Flowers, with your help, I can catch your arsonist. Well, I don't know. Uh, the police. No charge, of course. It would be foolish to refuse, I suppose. I knew you'd cooperate. As for how? Well, your arsonist is going to be coming back here, and I'm going to need the key to the warehouse. To keep me out of trouble with the police. Well, I suppose it's worth a try, if you think so. Good. All right. You will not be sorry, Mr. Powers. I hope not, Miss West. Listen, I've got to see you. Yes, a problem, a big one. All right, 15 minutes. Well, didn't take him long to close shop. Wonder where he's going. Home in the bed where I'd like to be. And where I'm going to be. Business first, Sam.
Dressed in a chemical company. Mm. Mm. Magazines. Mm. Confederated Insurance is going to be interested to find out they're paying off phony claims. Yeah, that's right. All the other fires were totals, no clues left. That means our fire bug is going to come back and finish the job. Well, that's right. We better check up on flowers in the outfit that sent in these crates. Well, that won't get us the Confederated account. Well, we could always call the police. Dresden Chemical Company. Well, we can't just leave. All right. You go on home and stay there. I'll see if I can find anything else. Have fun. I wanted you to be the first to know, Mr. Booth. Well, it's incredible, darling. Just really incredible. It's going to be quite a shock to Mr. Canby. Oh. Well, that'll be too bad. Say, listen. How would you like to be along when I give him the glad tidings? Is that possible? Yes, I think so. He's attending one of those fancy society balls in Bel Air. I'm sure that both of us would be welcome as the flowers in May. Sit tight, Mr. Booth. I'll pick you up in ten minutes. Right. It's a little late to be going out. This is one party I wouldn't miss. When you didn't show up. When Sam came in, I told him about Mr. Booth. I should have known that you'd take off by yourself. <sighs> Never again, Sam. Never again. I'm going to get you an ice pack. Boy, have you got a lump there. I wonder who knew those boxes were filled with magazines. Flowers, maybe? It could have been flowers, all right. Wreaths of them. We'll let Lieutenant Barney take it from here. Why was Canby so opposed to our taking the case? Honey. Someone had to be covering up the insurance investigations. Flowers on Canby, maybe? Yeah. Well, we could connect Canby to Dresden Chemicals. Canby's private files might tell us. Yeah. All right. But this time you stay put. Remember, somebody out there doesn't like you. Where's he going? Where are you going? To get dressed. Hello? Oh, yes, she is. Just a minute. Honey, it's that nice Mr. Booth. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Booth. Well, hello there, darling. Say, I've been worried about you. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry about our date. Something came up. Well, just as long as you're all right. I'm fine. Did you see Mr. Canby? No, I didn't. Uh, I've been waiting for you, you know. I suppose our news could wait until morning. 
Oh, I'm sure it could. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have a little hankering to snoop around Mr. Flower's warehouse in the meantime. Mr. Booth, don't you do a bit of snipping until I get there. No, I won't. Uh, are you sure you won't stand me up this time again? Positively. I'll meet you at the loading gate. Coffee. Sam said. I know. If he calls, tell him to meet me at the flowers warehouse. I'll tell him. Mr. Canby, I'll take care of him. Ow! Every groan is music to my ears. Thanks a lot. Go home, I said. Stay out of trouble, I said. What were you doing here in Canby's office? Canby's office, Sam. Why don't you find the guy that built it me and ask him what he was doing here? You I got, him I ain't. Now get on with it. All right, Honey and I wanted to see if there was a tie-in between Camby and Dressing Chemical. And you never thought to relay your information to me, of course. Oh, yes, and Honey. Where is she, Sam? Safe at home, Lieutenant. Safe at home. Mr. Booth? Mr. 
Mr. Booth? Mr. Booth! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Flowers. Not a very pretty sight, is it? Drop the gun, please. So, you're dressed in chemicals. I do so wish that you'd kept out of it. Flowers for Mr. Flowers? No, no. He preferred the pretty flames to the money. Then there were no medical supplies burned. No. And you collected the insurance? Oh, yes. Plus considerable profits on the foreign black markets for the real merchandise. Well, I know you're busy keeping the home fires burning, so uh, I won't take any more of your time. Sorry, darling. <laughs> He's got us cornered. Who is it up there? Booth. It's no use, Lieutenant. His suit is bulletproof. With the firebombs. Great, but he's turned the wrong way. Don't miss, gentlemen. Oh, Come on. Quack. Sleeping Beauty. What time is it? Never mind what time it is. Mm. You slept all day. Why don't you put on some fancy duds? I'll take you out to dinner. Oh, that's very sweet, Sam. Where's Aunt Meg? Well, I don't know. Haven't you seen her? Mm-mm. Where have you been all day? Where'd you get that coat? I've had the most marvelous day at that racetrack you two wouldn't go to yesterday. <gasps> that beautiful horse paid a hundred to one. I really should have split with you, dear. Why? Well, it was his name. Uh, Firebomb. <laughs> Thank you. 